I might steal this. No. Boys, what does it mean to you to have a night like this where four of the five fights on the main card all ended with a submission finish? Tomorrow, a lot of the stand-up fighters are going to say, well, the rules favor the grapplers. <laughs> but then next week, everybody gets knocked out. The grapplers are going to say the rules favor the stand-up guys. The rules don't change. They're the same. It's a question of strategy. Tonight, the guys will use a good strategy, so you were able to finish everybody. And specifically, Neiman Gracie, as a fellow Gracie, how does that feel with him getting another impressive finish here in Bellator? He's a Gracie, man. He trains for this. He gets ready. He knows the grappling game. He knows how to use the strategy. And he was able to deliver. Were you surprised when he said that there was more pressure on you and on Henzo back in your prime than there is on him? Nah, the pressure is the same for everybody. It's back then or today, I think the pressure is the same. The person who's fighting, like him, we take the pressure away from him, so he doesn't, he doesn't feel the pressure. What do you feel he needs to do to get to the next level and to become a world champion? It's time. It's time. We, as a grace, we don't want him to cut the line and go straight for the for the title. We want him to climb the ladder like everybody else. So there's no excuse. Dylan said you watching the fight made it a little more exciting for him. Did you have a chance to talk to him after? And what do you think of his yes. performance? I talked to him. He took a couple good hits. Mm -hmm. Like Neyman took a hit, and both of them kept their composure. They didn't lose their mind, they didn't get anxious, they didn't just try to shoot in. No, they kept it very good. That's what I was telling both of them. You guys took a couple hits, but you kept it you kept it cool. Strategy. What did you think of his actual skills on the mat? I mean, those very are very good. impressive. Very good. I mean, Neyman too. Yeah, very good. Very good. Speaking of composure, did you find out in real time or after the fact that Neiman almost kind of got into it backstage? Did he? Yeah. When? Javier said some things to him backstage. And before he said he, or after the fight? Before, before the, the fight. fight. Oh, I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're just finding out about it now. Well, so. well, okay. This trash talk does not work against Brazilians. I told Neiman that on the press conference. And he's getting over down his face. It doesn't work. We're used to this. The Brazilians, if you take trash talk, you pump us up even more. We don't get intimidated by the, oh my God, he's talking trash. That doesn't work with us. You can talk trash, man. You're just gonna rise our blood higher. <laughs> you know, you're regarded as one of the all-time greats, and you've seen one of the all-time greats this evening, Fedor and Melianico. What is it like seeing him live, and what did you make of his performance? Fedor fought some battles from the beginning. And the guy's a good, got a good heart. He's got a heart of a fighter. He's a fighter. He's a beautiful takedown. When he did that takedown, I was like, wow. Because Frank Mir is not an easy fight, man. It's not an easy fight. And for him to take him down like he did. So Fedor is a very good performance. He took a hit too. Again, he was able to recover. He stumbled for a second, but he came back. Where would you rank him among the all-time greats? He's up there. It's hard to name one person, you see. But if you measure, not because of one fight or one performance, if you measure the people that he fought, he fought the top guys when they were on the top of their game. Does a night like tonight make you think maybe I can do this one more time, or are you just happy? Dude, I'm old, man. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>